even during heated elections and a pandemic spanning several months, your stories are still a priority for all of us. And here's one. A man in Weedsport was having a problem with a poll, having nothing to do with the election. News Channel 9's Josh Martin working to find a solution to this one of your stories. They refer to them as zombie polls. And he said they're all over the place. John Pashano is seeing double in his driveway. Two telephone poles now populate his property. A new one put up just a few weeks ago. And an old one that, so far, had not been taken down. He tried to call Spectrum and Verizon, both saying it wasn't their job to take it down. He says Nice Egg told him no, too. After trying all the outlets you could, you called us. Well, you're the first one I thought of. Once they, I got a, a definite no, no matter how many times I called, I just said, you know what? I think I'll call your stories in the Channel 9. So that's what I did. Well, we got emailing in search of answers. A few days later, Nice Egg got back to us, saying it would take down the poll. And sure enough... Pisciano sent this picture of proof. These zombie poles, as they're known, are not unique to Weedsport. We've reported on them in the past, and it can be hard to find out who's responsible to take them down. In recent years, lawmakers have cracked down on zombie poles. If you have one, contacting your provider is a good first step in solving your poll problem. With one of your stories, Josh Martin, News Channel 9.